I'm Mark Schofield from Inside the Pylon with another installment of First Sound. We're well into draft season now, and while everybody's trying to finalize their boards, the work goes on. I've come across a quarterback here, and I'm still doing some work on him. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to end up on him, and he probably will remain a lawn shot to hear his name called during the draft, but he's somebody that you might want to check out before the work is done. He's Peter Pulyas from Holy Cross. A couple of background notes on him. Five-year starter. He had a broken leg that he suffered. He was given an extra season by the NCAA. He's the first four-year captain in Holy Cross history. He was given an invite to the NFLPA Collegiate Bowl. Completed two of four passes for 13 yards in that game. And when I was going through some of his film, I came away impressed with some traits, and I wanted to highlight a couple of things here. We're going to look at two plays, and we're going to talk about the go-flat concept. Here we see a snap against UConn. Go-flat concept out on the right. Go route outside. Flat route here. And now if you look at the secondary, get the information available to Polyos pre-snap. See two high safety look, each corner showing zone coverage off technique, hips towards the middle of the field. Again, zone coverage here. At least that's the indication pre-snap. Football right hash mark. I'm going to be throwing it to the left here. Guy you want to watch is the corner. If he drops like it looks like he might into a cover four look, you're going to throw that flat route. Slot receiver here on that flat has inside leverage against the nearest defender. That's a leverage advantage to take advantage of. The only other thing to watch, though, is if this corner now squats here or traps on that flat route. Then you're going to throw the go route, and you've got to be quick because safety is outside the hash marks here. You've got to really sort of attack that turkey hole, to use John Gruden's term. Here we see the snap. He squats immediately. Polyos, again, opens right to it. Sees that corner squat. Now he's got hips, feet parallel to the line of scrimmage. So he's squatting on that in the flat. He's going to take away that flat route here. So you've got to be aggressive as the quarterback now. Put the ball in here. And that's right what he does. Throw dips just a little bit here. Again, when you're studying FCS quarterbacks, you know, the arm strength will be something you want to watch, but this is a pretty long throw. He releases at his own 18, right hash mark, comes out to the 43 or so. At the numbers, that's a long throw. We'll run through it again, and you'll see it comes in at a pretty good line, too. Placement's pretty good, too, because he settles his receiver down. Safety sort of over-rotates here, perhaps because of the placement, and you get a nice big play out of it. And again, this is nice from a process and speed standpoint, because... As we run through this play, you'll see how quick the mind has to get made up. He squats, balls out. Again, the throw does dip a little bit, but it's a long throw. You're, you're pushing a lot of yardage there when you're making this throw. Football coming out again from your own 18, right hash mark. I think that's a nice play, and it shows good process and speed as well because you're reading that defender and throwing off of him. Here's another look at it. Same concept, different game. Flat, go, and this is a really great example of process and speed and diagnosing and reacting to information in the blink of an eye. Similar to the previous play, we have too high safety look here. Corner is off towards the middle of the field with his hips, showing you zone. Pre-snap, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking he's dropping, but again, you got to read and throw off of him because if he drops, he caps off this. You're taking the flat route again. Slot receiver has inside leverage on the nearest defender. If this guy squats or traps on this, you've got to be quick and get it out. Safety's on the hash. He's going to come over, try to get over the top of this route. Now at the snap, he drops. So Pulyas is looking right at him. He sees him drop. In that moment, if I'm the quarterback here, I'm thinking I'm throwing the flat route because he's dropping off, taking this vertical route away. I'm going to throw that flat route. He plants and drives. He's going to trap that. Now, as a quarterback, you're going to make up your mind in a split second. 
okay, I can't throw that. That's a pick six ball. I got to hit this vertical route before the safety can rotate over. That's exactly what he does. And again, like the placement there too, puts it to the outside this time. Receiver makes a nice adjustment. That's great placement. But running through this at full speed, you'll see how quick he has to make up his mind here. That's just really well done. And what's great about it is the receiver isn't even expected. If you watch the receiver here, he has to do a double turn to find it because he's not expecting the ball to come his way. But that's a great read, great process and speed from Pouliot here on this go-flat concept. Again, he remains an outside, you know, an outside chance here to, to hear his name called on draft day. More likely, he's somebody that gets you know, a deal as a free agent signing, gets an invitation to a mini camp, you know, maybe an invitation to training camp. This is a deep quarterback class. There are lots of guys you know, that might hear their name called as well. I'm not done with my work on him. I'm intrigued. I like these two plays. I like some of the other stuff that I've seen from him on tape. And so before you finish your quarterback work, you might want to check out the kid from Holy Cross. I'm Mark Schofield. Reminder to check out all the First Sound videos. Also, itpdraftguide.com. Getting ready to roll that out at the start of April. We've got over 500 players scouted and counting. So if they hear their name called, chances are we've done the work on them. Until next time, thanks for watching.